Doctor, can you please explain us about total knee replacement? As in when we grow older and people having osteoarthritis. So what happens is the cartilage that you saw, which was pristine, starts getting degenerated. And you see all these small osteophytes that are growing. These are the reaction uh, of the joint due to the degeneration, right? So now what you see here is all, all the cartilage is gone, all the smoothness of the cartilage is gone. And most often it's called a varus knee, that is the inside part of the knee gets worn out and you see the space between the joint gets decreased and there is bone to bone contact, that's when the pain starts increasing, right? That's when we call, this is like a grade 4 osteoarthritis. So at that stage, we have only few options like if you are someone who is not fit for surgery, then we could give you some intra-articular steroid injections or intra-articular hyaluronic acid injections. There are also other options like uh, radiofrequency ablation. If a patient is fit and there's a most rewarding surgery, like you can undergo a total knee replacement surgery. And a total knee replacement usually looks like this. That's the femoral component. That is the insert. It's a highly cross-linked polyethylene insert. And you have a TBL component here. This is well fixed. <laughs> okay. Okay. That is the tibial component. This is the femoral component. This is how it looks. This is the tibial component. And this is the insert. These are the three components. There's one more component for the patella, the kneecap that you call the patella bone. There is another component for that. So some surgeons prefer to do that. Some surgeons don't prefer to do that. It's a, so this is how we uh, generally take cuts of the bone. We mechanically align the joint and then fix it with the components or the implants by cementing. Right? That's the tibial component gone there and that's the insert and now you have the fresh joint there.